Thanks, Sammy. Fingers crossed on this now, St. Patrick's Day. We're celebrating all things Irish, including homegrown Irish produce. And we've got four foodies who are ambassadors for the hashtag This Is Irish Food. Now, this is a movement that was launched last year to help change the international and domestic perception of Irish food. Good morning, one and all. Good morning. Good morning. What an array of food you brought for us. Patrick, I'm going to start with you. Patrick is, of course, familiar to our viewers. You come in and cook with us every so often. Hashtag This Is Irish Food. Tell us what it's about. Yeah, it, it's something basically we kicked off last year I suppose when you look at the stereotypes that we always get of Irish food and drink and you look at the Google images they're pretty horrendous yeah so we're trying to change the domestic and the international perception and really shout about how great Irish food is what we've got to offer so as you say yeah I'm often in here but this time we've got to bring some friends <laughs> so, you did you brought a lot of friends you brought a lot of food <laughs> we did yeah you're so, banging the drum for breads yeah, etc because that's, bre your, that's bre your bread, bread is my thing I suppose but I suppose this is, this is showing like how mo what modern baking is like now the last couple of years the emergence of so many bakers throughout the country yeah um, um, from Dublin all the way down, like we have Seagull Break in Tremor, we have Muller and O'Connell in Leash, we have all over the country. And you've spoken about it before, specifically when it comes to bread. You said bakers were coming together, and you're trying to do like sourdoughs and the cultures and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. This is an expansion of that, though. This is, yeah, and it's grown more and more, particularly the last couple of years. And then, like, we've got great breads, we've got great meat. Like, this is from Farley's Butchers in Delgany, like Beautiful. one of the few craft butchers with their own abattoir, both from local farms in Delgany and Ashford. Um, and we just wanted to, the idea was to say was to show you like how amazing. Irish like food, like some of the pastries. And the array of products that's on, that's on view is like staggering. These, like these are full Irish butter. Like we're actually, the butter has just been used to make croissants in France to be made with Irish milk. There you go. Like we have the best in the world. Come on, Ireland! But it's, it's not just, it's everywhere. It's Galway as well. Which well, is now, going to tell you Galway, Jacinta, good morning. How are you? Morning. You're banging the drum for the west of Ireland. And we're well used. We have the great Martin O'Donnell from the 12 Hotel. Yes, Martin's Martin wonderful. Us. My, li my neighbour. brings in some amazing produce yes. from the west. Yeah. Tell us what you have for us today. Well, I suppose yesterday we were very lucky in Galway. We just got, we launched a European Region of Gastronomy yes. uh, for 2018. So we've been recognised in the European platform, which is wonderful. But uh, for my own hometown, we have McGill's Air Dried Meats, uh, lamb beautiful. and beef, stunning. Uh, Canvara smoked salmon, oh. uh, the first 100% organic smoked salmon uh, um, company in Ireland. Uh, superfood, we have uh, carrageen moss, we have a little bit of mickle putching, sixth generation, <laughs> first time We legal. need to drop that this morning, don't we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's the first legal, uh, I suppose, generation for making putching. We have the amazing uh, balia verica. And these are little tonic syrups that are made from herbs grown in the Connemara area. They're absolutely stunning. To go with your gin. We have Schlivachti honey and we have Aran Island's goat's cheese made with dilisk. And that it goes, if you want to have a little taste of the seaweed, the goat's cheese and a little will. bit of meat, it's absolutely beautiful. I certainly will. Let me move to uh, Olivia. Now you're banging the drum for? The Boyne, Boyne Valley. Valley. Hi Lise, you talk. What have you got for us? <laughs> so Boyne Valley, when we say Boyne oh. Valley, the full counties of Meath and Louth working together. As you know, Tara will the lovely Tara, yeah. Uh, and she was banging your drum by your heritage yeah, potatoes. Yeah, and, and, and I suppose when we think of Irish food, we think of, you know, with the international perception is sometimes the, the spud and the stew. Yeah. And so, so we need not lament about it anymore. We need to celebrate it. But yeah. there's amazing heritage potatoes, the purple violetta. The Michelin chefs are going crazy about these. They're amazing. The Tara used them on the show yeah, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. They are Produced beautiful. Produced by Maria and Bally McKenney. Um, we also have um, Hugh Maguire's black pudding here. Just to kind of talk about the perception of Irish food internationally at the moment, that black pudding won the supreme um, grand champion of the Great Beating Taste off Awards. how many? 12,600 this Seven. year. And the last in the last seven years, five of them have been Irish. So we just need to have a bit of confidence and... And bang the drum. Absolutely. Because we've got amazing produce. Yeah, and they're like Oriel Sea Salt then, again, Clara Head, just got origin status. So, you know, like your champagne can only be made in champagne or well, whatever. Right. Your sea salt can only be made in Clarehead. Uh, Niall, the seafood you have brought for us. What a little bit for you, yeah. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, good Now, you're banging the seafood drum. I'll do the end seafood for Ireland, I suppose. I mean, well, a lot chefs of... around the world around Europe are saying the Irish seafood Absolutely, is Absolutely, but the perception around the world is that mm. the Irish seafood is supreme and it is the best. And it is the best. But just at home, we're just so used to not eating it and only eating the same things again and again. Now, what I've brought today, this is a tiny, this is like a tiny segment of, of what's available. Available. But you've got the likes of you know, these big, beautiful brill just cut off the east coast here to turbots, even to these gorgeous little sea urchins, beautiful. which are just gorgeous to eat. A lovely red mullet, lovely Irish crab, Killery Fjord mussels. These are a fantastic mussel from the Killery Fjord down in Connemara. And the guy Simon who farms these, 
Italy goes out to the back of his garden and these are growing in the back of his garden. Like, just chefs go wild for that kind of stuff. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We're killed for time, boys and girls. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. You're Hashtag, welcome. Hashtag, Hashtag this, this is our, is our food. food. <laughs> uh, we're going to try and get all this into my car now. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Now we're